Disney is giving the Avengers another shot to try to surpass Avatar as the highest grossing movie of all time. Avengers Endgame made more than $2 billion in record time when it debuted in theaters back in April. But despite the superhero's passionate fan base, it's still roughly $45 million short of Avatar's record $2.78 billion in global ticket sales. But now, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige told Screen Rant that Endgame is going to be re-released in theaters with additional post-credit scenes on June 28th. The original version of Endgame is still playing in hundreds of theaters, so this is an interesting decision on Disney's part, especially since there's not a great track record for studios who've re-released films shortly after their initial runs. For example, A Wrinkle in Time earned just $1.7 million more after it was re-released in June 2018, and an extended version of 2018's A Star is Born, released after the 2019 Oscars, raked in almost $2.8 million. Meanwhile, when Disney reissued a 3D version of 1994's The Lion King 17 years after the original version hit theaters, it earned a whopping $94 million domestically. But if the re-release of Endgame doesn't gross the money needed to eclipse Avatar, that might not be such a bad thing. After all, Disney would still be able to say it has the two highest grossing movies of all time, since it got the rights to Avatar through its acquisition of 21st Century Fox. Avatar's use of revolutionary 3D technology was one of the reasons fans rushed to theaters over and over to watch it in 2009. But the rest of Hollywood has caught up tech-wise in the decades since, so being able to promote the multiple Avatar sequels it has in the works as follow-ups to the biggest grossing movie ever could be a nice marketing trick for Disney.